Well, actually, I'm not assisting her with anything right now. But yes, she's, she forgot how to do it. <laughs> I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible, right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal Hey guys, what is up? Stir Sid over here and I'm here with my girlfriend Sana all And we are gonna teach her how to ride or drive a motorcycle Actually, this is already like the third session that we had before Or yeah, we had already two sessions before this will be the third one and what I'm teaching her is how to be comfortable uh, handling the motorcycle uh, while it's not actually running because uh, usually what happens if riders or people who are new to motorcycle who have no idea in how to ride a motorcycle and even also she doesn't know how to ride a bike uh, usually accidents happen because they don't know how to handle the bike uh, or how to stop the bike or or how to handle the bike while it's still not moving right and that's why what I'm teaching here is how to maneuver the motorcycle while uh, it's not moving how to brake how to have a soft touch on the brakes because yeah that's also one of the causes of accidents when they brake too hard or they throttle in too hard right so uh, what we're gonna do right now is uh, run through what we talked about last time and she's right now wearing the new shirt and right now actually we did not post this yet on Facebook because we're still waiting for our helmets to pair up with our jersey so if by the time you watch this video most probably the helmets and the jersey is already uh, we have photos of those already. So now what we're gonna do is teach her uh, how to turn it on. I mean, she knows how to turn it on already. So what we're, we're, we're gonna ask her some questions, just a refresher <laughs> on what these important mechanism of the motorcycles, all right? So first, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> or clutch? Yeah, clutch for? For changing What's this one? Gear. Gears. Yeah, but that's the what do you call this one? Which one? This one. What is that for? This one is that. That's gear switch? Shifter. That's a shifter. Okay. And then what's this? For brakes. Front brakes. Well, this one. Throttle. And All right. Of course, you know these are basics. What's this? The one I'm pressing. None. I forgot for That's, turning. Yeah, turn indicator. Okay. This one. Beep beep. <laughs> yeah, that's the horn. And then this one. For high beam or low beam. Yeah, and then this one. My memory. Um. It, if you want to turn it off or turn it on. Okay. Aside from this. Yep. And lastly, this one. For that. That's for hazard. Hazard. Hazard light. That's the hazard light, guys. That's what that's used when your motorcycle is parked and broken down. Not when it's fogging. Not when um, you're following someone. That's used only for when your car is broken down or motorcycle broken down. And lastly, we didn't just change this one yet. What's this for? Yep, right the rear brake. Very important as well. <laughs> so, so what I usually let them start with or let her start with is like what I said a while ago in the introduction. Uh, is how to maneuver and conf be comfortable with the motorcycle so the exercise I let her do is just pushing the motorcycle uh, forward and backward 
So let's start. You forgot, na? Um, I should put the GoPro here because I need to support you. Just in case. Actually, never mind. I don't know where to put the GoPro. Ah, here. We'll put the GoPro here. So you guys can see what we're actually doing. So, this is very important. Because I don't want, uh, once she gets her own motorcycle, she will be asking assistance. When you have your own motorcycle, you need you need to be able to handle your bike. Right. Yes. I am my own <laughs> So this is what we're gonna do. Start. Right. You gotta find the center gravity of the motorcycle. And then side step. Oh my, sorry, my bike is very dirty. It's raining. So, she needs to be comfortable at handling the motorcycle. Okay, backwards. So, she's much more comfortable right now. We have not done any U-turns yet, just forward and backward. Yeah, again. Repetition is key. So actually, I'm not assisting her with anything right now. But yes, she's super blocked out to do <laughs> Find the center. So, gloves? Yeah, it's it's not uh it's just a baratona gloves love. <laughs> Sorry for the brand, for nitro. <laughs> it's not as quality as you expect. So, yun, I'm just trying to support here in case she tips over cuz we all know if once this bike tips over to its uh if dili na siya sakto sa center of gravity Tumba, tumba da yung ka. Come on, big. Wait, sir. Wait, sir. <laughs> so, side stand. So, of course, if she'll be able to handle this bike, definitely mga 150cc will be chicken na lang. Okay, gaan, gaan, the weight difference of a R15 and <coughs> R3 is really big. Oh, you used the brake. Did you use the brake? Yes, I did. Okay, good. There. So that's one of the exercises that we're doing. And are you, are you comfortable with doing it? Yeah. Or I was not the same? I how I did it. Before? So you have to find it before we go to the next level. So yun. But I actually taught her how to change gear, but she was not able to do it yet. Kanang real practice, Jud. Because like what I said, this is one of the most important things. See? You did the brake too hard. You felt it? I felt it. And yeah. I suck it lang kasi dito. That's why I want her to do this so that she, when she does a full stop, it'll be easy. She'll be confident. It's not all about riding fast. 
it's not just all about changing gears diba? we also need to learn how to handle your bike when it's not uh, turned on so remember as well soft touch lang inig brake soft touch ma I don't ay, 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 I'm just saying in the video <laughs> so do you want to do the next level so oh that okay we'll do one more So she's getting, she's remembering on how to do it last time. Cause before, I'm like, of course, it's muscle memory. If you're not able to do remember, diba, you'll struggle. So yun. So yes, I think I'm more confident that she can do it alone and moving forward and backward pa lang yun. So that was level 1. That's the the most easy one. All right. So the next thing I'll let her do is we, we're going to turn on the motorcycle as well and but she's going to put it on a paddock stand. Paddock, paddock, paddock. Ay basta mauna paddock stand. And a girl can do it. <laughs> All right. So no, you gotta if you're gonna have your own bike, yeah. But she's still having I'm doing it okay. Yeah, also the bike is dirty. <laughs> no, you but you really have to push down all your weight. Ah, kasi na, uh, like uh. Don't be scared. Just have all your confidence. I'll push a bit because you don't want to touch eh. Push it down. A bit more. Yeah. Yun, don't be scared. Dian, Dian, go to you. So, yun. Now she's able to ride a motorcycle even though it's so dirty. Don't have both. You might forget later. You can step here right away and then ride the ano. So yeah, go ahead. You can ride. So there you go. She was able to do the paddock stand. And now how do you shift? Can you recall? Shift gear? Yeah. Neutral or? First gear. Of course, first gear. Watch. Then, down. Of course, it's not gonna show there because it's still off. I'll turn it on. You put it in neutral again first. Yep. But reminder what's the shifter? Uh, how many gears are there? Six. And how do you shift gears? I know. Ang one is down. The, down. the rest. Up. The rest is up. Yep. So yeah, go ahead. Turn it on. It's already. You don't need to twist it anymore because it's already lighted. Slowly release the clutch when you do first gear. I feel more na magano. Yeah. All right. What I want you to do this time though is to really feel the bike na move just using the clutch. Because in R3 you can just release the clutch and it's gonna start moving. So your goal is ipa move mo lang konte yung tires. No, where's the biting point? Iba ma feel mo na watch. If I release it gamay, you'd know where's the biting point. So just keep doing that one. Para she'll get comfortable. Uh, try playing between sa on and off. On, off, 
pod, off pod. Not, not too much. Yung sakto lang yung where's the bite point? On off, on off yun. As close to the bite point, cara as close as a uh, off nya. So that's the bite point, guys. As you can see. This is very important at least when she starts moving the motorcycle Riding motorcycle at least she can start slowly first gear lang and then release lang the clutch No need to use the throttle para safe kayo mo Because if you let her use the throttle right away pasin the R3 might overpower and move really fast <laughs> So yun, that's the exercise I'm making her do Bite point, where's the bite point? Yun In the next few days, and since I'm Padona for duty, I have to end this vlog. But yes, basic lang yan. So last is go to second gear. Yan, go back to neutral. Find a sweet spot for that neutral. It's gonna be tiring on your hands for clutching. Yon, turn it off. Yep. So that's it for today, guys. Um, it's a very very short exercise of on how to. Uh, Use the motorcycle. Very basic, but very important, guys. Okay, basic. Just the most important. Throttle control. Throttle. Throttle control. Brake. Proper braking. Dapat sakto rin yung pag brake. Sakto yung pag throttle. You gotta be smooth on your motorcycle. So that's what I'm helping her out. Getting also with her muscle memory sa pag use ng clutch and also brakes. We don't want to have her accidents. Even simple accidents lang na magtumba ka. It's really good that we really have her practice on how to handle the bike properly. So this is our third session and we'll end this vlog for today and see you guys on the next vlog.